Hello everyone. So moving forward in our primer series, today we will learn about the drawing tools. So if you want to access the drawing tools, you should click on here, drawing tools. Now you have various groups. So here we have lines and measures. And under this, we have arrow, arrow marker, trend angle, line, ray, horizontal ray, horizontal line, cross air, and all these things. Now here, in front of every option, you have this heart shape. So if you click on this heart shape, it will get favoritized. So here this arrow is favoritized. If I uncheck this heart option, this arrow favoritize option has gone. So in the same way, under this group, we have different patterns like Cypher, ABCD, Elliot Impulse Wave, Elliot Triple Combo, Elliot Triangle Wave. All these things you can explore, head and shoulders and other things. Then we have some sacred geometries like GAN box, GAN square, GAN fixed square, GAN fan and etc. You can explore these options. You can also favoritize these options by clicking on this heart shape. Then we have these shapes and text. And here we have some important options which are called fixed range market profile, fixed range volume profile. These are two very important and we will do practical on them. Then you have uh, text. Uh, these up down arrows etc images circle ellipses rectangle we also have under the line and measures we also have here this long position and short position which is quite frequently used by the demand and supply zone traders we also have these date range and price ranges so suppose i want to draw a trend line so i will click on this line and i will click here and i can draw this trend line like this now here, if I go to the settings, now here I can add some text over here. Suppose I want to write trend line. Now I want to add this text in the middle or I can put it in the end or I can also put it in the base. So this is how. Now what I can do is I can save this as a template. So I can save as and I can write it here as trend line. So it is created. So from the next time onwards, whenever I'm drawing a trend line, I need not to write the same text again and again. So if I'm clicking on this trend line and suppose I'm drawing this trend line. So here, if you see, there is a preset already called trend line. You can also do this preset by simply right clicking over here and we have this preset option and here you can see the trend line. So this was about the preset option in drawings. Now let me tell you about the fixed range market profile and the fixed range volume profile. So we have this fixed range volume profile here. So suppose you want to know the volumes, what are the volumes in this move from here to here. What you can do is you can apply this volume profile from here to here and you will see a nice volume profile. You will also see the point of control, the value area, etc. You can also go to the setting and change its setting right so for example you can change the value area you can change the bin height then we also have the fixed range market profile now suppose i want to merge these two market profile i have option of if i right click over here now here i have this split unsplit profile i can split this profile same way i can also split this profile i can unsplit them both right now I can also merge this profile to the left. So if I click on this option, these two profiles are merged, right? And I can also unmerge the profile. The same thing, if I want to merge from this to this, I want to combine these five market profiles. I can simply click on here. And I, this is the fixed range market profile. And I click on here to here. Now I'm getting this fixed range market profile along with the fixed range volume profile. Here we have the cursor and pointer option. So suppose I'm clicking on the pointer and tool tip. So what will happen if I take this pointer to any candle, I can see the candle details, like what is the open, high, low, close, volume, and etc. I can also take the crosshair and tool tip. So in this case, this is the crosshair and the tool tip. So these are the options which I have made the favorite in my drawing toolbar. So these are the favorite options. So here we have magnet mode. So if you switch on the magnet mode and if you're drawing anything, so this will automatically take the candles high, low, close or open. So here the magnet mode is on and I'm clicking on the trend line. Suppose I'm drawing a trend line. Now I have selected this point and now 
if i see this candle see it is automatically taking the low the close the open and the high right so i don't need to select it will automatically take right so that you can experience while the drawing now i have this draw mode if i switch on this draw mode so this is log now what happens suppose i'm trying to draw a horizontal line right so i can draw horizontal line then i can again draw horizontal line i can keep on drawing this why because this draw mode is locked so now currently i am in the drawing mode so i don't need to select all the time uh, horizontal lines it will automatically keep on drawing the horizontal lines until the draw mode is on now from this option you can lock your drawing so suppose for this line i can move this line anywhere right this line these lines can be moved but if i lock it i cannot move this line right these lines cannot be moved you see it cannot be moved from here i can hide and hide all the drawings right i can also uh, hide and hide all the indicators and all the objects objects will include all the drawings as well as indicator and in the same way i can also delete all the drawings and indicators and objects so now let's talk about the zoom options there are three kind of zoom options one is the normal zoom option second is angled zoom and third is lock aspect ratio so suppose i am using my mouse to zoom in so this is what this is how this zoom in is happening now suppose i want to see this candle properly so what i can do i can select this candle i mean i can put my cursor over the here and i can press the control and now if i zoom in you see this is called anchored zoom so this candle will be highlighted and it will be zoomed in so this is called the anchored zoom and third is called the aspect ratio zoom so where i can press the shift option and if i if i zoom in the aspect ratio is fixed it is not changing so these are the three zoom options then suppose i am drawing a line over here so what i can do if i want to rotate this line only by a fixed 45 degree i can press the shift and if i drag it it will be shifting by 45 degree only now there are two shortcuts so suppose you want to search for the nifty here you will select here and then you will type the nifty right so there is no need to do that you can simply type any word so suppose you want to search for the tata motors simply type tata motors and it will automatically take the symbol so that is one thing and in the similar way if you want to change the custom time interval you need to type a number so suppose i, I type a number of 30 so it will automatically take the 30 minutes so friends this was about the drawing tools in the go charting in the next video we will learn about these buy sell panels thank you guys